gentlemen, welcome back to the show. Great to have you on board again. We're here in Perth, WA, and I thought it was a great opportunity to come out here and to do something a little bit different. Uh, we've got my godchild here. He's going to be fishing with me today. And have you ever been at home and uh, had the kids and they're bored and you wanted to find a way to entertain them, especially go fishing? Uh, here is a way that you can catch some quality brim just using a loaf of bread and uh, it's something that I've done quite a bit of in my earlier days and uh, it's something I would like to pass on. Uh, it's a great activity for the kids. Uh, you get outdoors with them and they can really enjoy a great day out when dad can put that bait on for them, show them how it's done and then they can go out, feed the water and catch the bread. So we're going to do it today. Uh, join us please and uh, this is how it's done. Let's go. Right, so Alex is here with me today. Uh, we just kitted him out with a really nice uh, setup, rod and reel outfit, uh, which is going to do the gig for him today. It's always worth your while getting some quality stuff uh, for your youngsters. Uh, they can always grow up with it and keep it for a, a number of years before they go on their own journey in fishing. Good quality reel, anti-reverse, very important, um, and uh, good solid graphite rod, and that's what's going to put it together today for us. I'm going to do the setup right now and uh, we're going to work through that and show you how to first of all set up very very easy to do uh, in actual fact we're not even going to use any sinkers i'm going to go straight to hook off a bit of fluorocarbon and then we're going to feed the water build the baits and get some action alex you ready for your day buddy yep have you ready. ever caught good bream before uh just using this rod for example no. brand new rod right he looks good in your hand and um let's go guys let's get set up and let's get on the water Right, everybody so we're going to be doing the uh, baits now now uh, the idea is to get the bread to sink to the bottom not to stay on the top uh, the birds will come in they already started over there that's not a bad thing because what happens is that gets a lot of activity on the water and the fish will come in uh, it's a quite a event trying to get uh, a bite from bigger fish because what's going to happen is as you feed the water the small fish are going to come in schools and the birds are going to go a little crazy and you need the bait to go under in order for the gulls and the mallards not to grab all the bait that's on top because sometime in the event you're going to throw the bait with a hook in it and when you do that uh, obviously you don't want one of the birds to swallow that so you got to be a little careful with that but we're going to put some water on it right now and you can do it quite quite generously um, I like to put half of it into the water and half not and then I just work it around until it's all mushy and then I just work it into a ball breaking it up into a ball there you go okay and what that does is it takes the air out of the bread and uh, but makes it hard enough that you can still put it on a hook so it is a little messy okay it is a little bit messy but uh, it is a way to do it so there you can see I'm getting a nice ball together as I work that, okay? And that's one ball, and that's going to be uh, one of the main chunks that I'm going to use to start the feeding process off, okay? So there's one. I've got to make another three. Right, so here we go. We've got a hook, okay, and your line. Simple way, Dad. Put it on for your kids. Straight through the loop once. Very easy knot. Bring it through, and you'll see that there's, two, there's a piece of line through. Okay, just twist the actual hook itself like this. There you go. There's the loop down there. You bring the excess line through that loop. Okay, it doesn't matter which way. And you have a full loop like that. And you bring it back through the main loop again. That's your safety catch. And then you go down. All right, now watch how that just slides down and onto the hook. And you put it tight, and there it is. Tight, 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 tight. And that's how you join and make sure that you never lose a fish. That is tough as nails. You can pull on the excess just to tighten it. That's a great knot. Right, so the first load that I've got I picked up off the soil, I chuck that in the water, spray it out nicely. You can see the mallards are already on it. The seagulls come in almost immediately. And you can see how it starts drifting and floating underneath. 
okay and that's what you want to start doing now the area that I'm fishing is out in front of us here or the area we're fishing and I'm going to bring the fish to us okay by using balls there you go balls okay now because we put that on top the ducks will go for that the ball I'll put a little further out and it sinks okay right so you see that duck didn't get it because it sunk okay it will sit on the bottom I triangulate that okay over there now okay, I triangulate that that'll sink to the bottom see how it spreads out and then there's one close there where the ducks are and that's gonna be just right for them so you can see that they're around they're feeding okay we've got three and we'll triangulate and put the third one right in the middle and that goes down see the duck can't even get it that's the importance of getting the bait to sink below the surface see how they're looking for it but it's on the bottom they're not going to go down for it okay right got a couple of uh, top pieces to get these ducks away from the area it's just there's a seagull in there as well but this is what you want and then put a big piece like that and it sits on top so they stay out of your way and they uh, focus on that but these are the ones on top and let them all just enjoy those so they don't go for the ones down below seagulls will come in all the time and they're pretty greedy they'll take a lot more than the ducks will take but you see how the ducks there i gave it a big full one like that that keeps them active for a while but it also creates a lot of turbulence and that's what you want for the fish so one of the dough balls we really got to make sure that we have a uh, good hard bait so you really have to work it and get all the soft stuff up the soft stuff on the side that i can throw as as uh, bait to the fish again you can see the ducks can't get it because it's sinking all right they'll continue feeding they won't stop feeding they may go down for it once in a while you may lose a piece or two but generally you've got that then you get the harder piece like you've got over here and that's the piece that goes on the hook right time to add a little bit of secret sauce so like i use with my baits i always try and screen the uh, baits with a little bit of scent and this is really really cheap you can go to a store and get yourself a little bit of almond oil and almond oil is a nice way just to scent your um, baits stop any um, any sense from getting in there uh, like sunscreen and things like that which the fish will absolutely not like so I put it in the center of that I just turn it around a little bit it's got a nice smell to it much better than having sardines and prawns all over your hands it doesn't stink you can just wash your hands off afterwards and you're back in the room so it's a good way to do it it's got a nice scent to it now now all the sunscreen in that that I may have used now I'll just put a little bit more in because I like it to really this is my main piece of bait so this is the one I'm going to use to really get to the bigger fish uh, as we go so you can see it's a nice consistency and it's um, definitely going to go on the hook nicely so that's the piece that I've kept then the other stuff that's sort of a little bit um, more doughy or a little bit uh, looser I'll use as the feed for the fish so that's my main one I'm going to use that for the baits Right, so just grab the bait like this. Okay, I'm trying to show Alex how to do this and uh, hopefully you can get it done in time. Then you swing it out and you release. And that's how you get that bait out there. So that's a much better way. You can see I've got a tree right here in front of me. I'm fishing in the shade. This is a good spot. There's a drain pipe here, as you can see, and that's why the fish like to line up in this area because food comes out of the drain pipe. That's why they're here. So uh, that's a great way to cast. And I'll give the rod over to him and he can work it. Right. So what I'm going to do just to start Alex off, I'll put the bait on. Okay. And I'm just going to put a little bobber on for now. Now the bait must sit at the bottom. Okay. The bait must sit on the bottom. They will not take it suspended in mid-water. So I'm just putting a little bobber on right now which is an adjustable bobber and that'll give him a bit of action okay and also give him a bit of fun while he's fishing so he doesn't get bored okay it's very important that'll be bobbing up and down that'll give him a little bit of fun uh, whilst you're getting set up and uh, finding out where the fish are and feeding the fish towards you okay so here you go Alex okay now remember the cast that I showed you all right just take your time okay you gotta hold your line first hold your line first 
Okay, bring it towards you. No, don't have to cast it. I told you how to swing it. Okay, how do you swing it? All right, let me show you. Show us what you've learned today with your casting, man. It's getting over there. It's trigger finger. Nice. Grabbing the little bit of bread at the end. Okay. And then what? Yeah. And then swing and go. There you go. He's got his bait in the water. We still only get a few little bites, but nothing spectacular yet, but we'll keep on at it. Hopefully it'll get a little bit stronger as we go. Just sort of like working this little shoot over here. I've fed this area quite substantially. I've got a few little bites, but nothing uh, really that exciting yet. So hopefully that'll pick up. Right, everybody. So we've been fishing up over there. And it's a place that I had been fished, uh, fishing a couple of years ago. Uh, it's not that active at the minute, so we're going to move down here. We found a little beach. Uh, it allows Alex to get some overhead casts. Uh, we've got one or two bites, but uh, still trying to get those fish to come to us. So if we can do that, we'll have a show, and it'll be great. So hopefully, I can show you that. But what a beautiful day out once again. Having a look at the background, beautiful boats on the Swan River in Perth, and. Um, you know that's really what it's all about at the end of the day you know good day out is better than a bad day doing anything so this is fantastic we'll keep on at it and hopefully we get some bites just in front of us here okay just making some more uh chum up here i want to try and bait this area out in front of us over here uh just there's a, there's a sandbank i can see that drops off just on the edge there, and that little edge there i'm interested in and you know this is uh, has a lot of activity coming here you know it's a little beach you've got dogs that come in the water um and i'm sure the bream will hang around uh, this particular area so we're just going to mash it up get a nice little mash going here and this is kind of cool when it's really sloppy like this skim it across the water like that see how it just goes brrr, all the way out like that and that really get the mallards going but at the same time you really are watch it again the mashy stuff like this skim it across the water there you go just like a boom, boom, boom. see it spreads out then you take a few balls and you ball them up so that the mallards can't get them and you plop them in and they go to the bottom and you try to keep that's how you bait the area the mallards are going to get stuff on top you don't have to worry about that mallards unfortunately will eat until they explode so they'll keep on going can be a bit of a frustration but uh, generally you have just got to get around it so if i can get this whole area here bait it up maybe we can get some fish onto the bait it's just going to cast out and let's just make sure his bait's right so what you want to do alex is you want to make sure that your whole bait covers make sure the hook doesn't get exposed okay when the fish takes it uh you got to let it go for a little bit okay and then just pull back and tighten your line slowly and if you feel that fish is pulling back then you give it a good crank okay and that's what you he's going to show us his casting skills now is this new rod and he's going to show us his casting skills. Here we go, buddy. Not too far, just nice. Not bad, not bad. Because the seagulls are going crazy, but that's all right because I just fed the water. But what a beautiful little beach we found. Let's hope we can get some fish on this area. All right, we're shane on with our first fish. Let's see if we can bring it out of there. Oh, go and get it. All right, he's got his first fish. Hopefully, he can land it. Okay, go for it now. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Me? I don't know. There you go. He's on it. Okay, yeah, nice. Looks like a good fish. Just keep working it back. There you go. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. It's a nice fish. That's a beaut. That's exactly what we're after. There you go. What a beautiful shot. This fish has just got. Bring it in more. Bring it in. Walk it onto the beach. Walk onto the beach. Walk it onto the beach. Walk it onto the beach. What a beautiful fish. Hey. Okay. All right. You want me to grab it? Or are you good? And that's a proper brim too. There you go. All right. And look at that, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Shane, say hi to people. Hello, everybody. Yeah, and look at that. That's what he's managed to pull in with bread. And uh, that's what you can get if you are doing this. So that's one good fish. Well, then, how did that thing fight? It was good. Yeah, pretty good. I know he... It hard, and then it went away. Yeah. It didn't feel like there was anything there, and I got hooked up on the tree, and then I pulled again. Oh, it's really good. Put it up to the camera. Let's people see it. There you go. Look at that beauty. That's a really nice brim. And that's just on bread, ladies and gentlemen. 
So let's see if we can get some more. What a great fight. Well done, Shane. Good job. Go. Now we've got to get Alex on one, right, Alex? Yeah. Let's go, buddy. So, Alex, you see this fish is 50 years old, hey? It's an uh, old fish. It will want to come up. And uh, this is what they call a black brim. And uh, different to New South Wales, it has a lot of the elephant yeah, brim. But uh, yeah, neither these say beautiful shot. Look at that in the mouth. It's a little bit deep. But um, yeah, that's what's possible. Alex, your turn next, right, buddy? Yep. Let's go. Right, and of course, we're catch and release on this channel. So here we go. Fish back in the water. Just make sure that you get a little bit of air into its gills. Hold it up nicely. And uh, just get it to rotate its gills a little bit in the water. You've got to help these fish now because he's lost all his oxygen, you see. So just back and forth in the water nicely and hold him upright. And when he starts kicking, like that, see, he's starting to kick a little bit. And he starts kicking a little bit. There you go, just back and forth. What that does is it gives it a little bit of oxygen over the gills. And then he will eventually go. There we go, let's have a look. There we go, there we go. Catch and release, ladies and gentlemen. And that fish is safely back in the water for another generation. He's coming for a, a little, a little uh, swim by just to say cheers. And off he goes back to the water. There he goes. So safe. Well done, guys. Shane, good job, buddy. That's the way to go. Alex, let's go, buddy. Yep. You're next, eh? Yep. Come on. All right, buddy. So listen, let's get that bait in the water more, hey? Mm -hmm. That's very important. Keep it in the water. Keep it in the zone. Look at this. Press it on. Nice and tight. Cover the whole hook. There you go. All right, get it into the zone now, bud. Come on, let's go. It's your turn. Let's go. Get that cast going. All right, the deal is to keep the uh, bait going back at the fish all the time. And you can see I cover the whole hook when I do it. Make sure that no part of the hook is showing. It's quite important because they're smart. They know. And then what I'm doing, what I like to do, is just squish it. So it gives them something to grab hold of and uh, then I'll put it out there uh, onto the sandbank. So there it is. I'm just going on that edge there is where I'm getting some bites now. Got, I'm on. It doesn't look like a too big a fish but we've got fish coming in. There you go. Right, so a little guy like that, there you go, it's a start. And we'll continue moving on and see if we can get some more. But anyways, we're starting to get some fish. And back in the water it goes. Good cast. Now concentrate. Watch your bait, it's going to go because there's fish in that area now. Yo, 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 that's a good fish. That's the one we're looking for. Uh, Alex, here you go. Hold on. It's a good fish. Wait, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Alex, Alex. I want you to grab this fish. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Get that fish slowly, slowly. Play that fish. Play that fish. Right, good, Alex. Good, Alex. Slowly, slowly, slowly. All right, slowly. Nice. That's the way. Okay, no, that's far enough. Bring him onto the beach. That's good. Well done, Alex. Good yeah. job, buddy. Okay, nice catch there. So he really got a good bite there. And again, again, what a phenomenal fish again. Just a beautiful big fish. And that's on bread. Alex, how was that? Was it a good fight? Yes, it was. Yeah, did you enjoy that? Yes. Good. Let's wash it off. You're going to hold it for me? I don't know fishing. Right. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to hold it for you. Right, Alex, how was that fight, bro? Did you enjoy that? Yes, sir. Yeah? A yes. little bit of bread and just keeping that in the water. Mm -hmm. And there's a nice catch. So there's another nice big black brim caught by Alex. Mm -hmm. Good shot there. And just shows you what you can do with a little bit of bread with the youngsters. You want to touch it? Yeah, okay. And we're going to release it back in the water. So let's do that. Bring it down over here. And again, you're going to need to help this fish. Oh, he's, he's fine, he's fine, and off it goes. So there's another beautiful black brim caught on bread. How magnificent. 
So we got Alex uh, working uh, a bank now and uh, really looking for that uh, fish that he uh, would really love to get. And I've taught him how to uh, go from the bobber onto just using a free line and watching the line and tethering it up to the um, to the rod. So he's learned a lot today, uh, but still hunting for that uh, elusive bite. And uh, let's hope he can get it. All right, watch that line. You got some action there, bud. That's it. Just making sure that you've got good contact with your bait. That's what's important. Okay, tether it again. Just keep it, keep it there, because there's fish there for sure. And uh, just for the viewers, uh, the uh, float was not working at all. And I think these brim here know what a float is, and so they don't touch that bait because I was getting bites right next to Alex. Um, so therefore, uh, yeah, using just the hook and a bit of uh, bread is, is definitely what the fish uh, fall for easier. Right, now to entice the fish a little bit more, you just throw little balls like this into the zone. And so they get used to these little balls, nice little bait sized balls, and they get used to those balls going through the water and when you put your bait in there sometimes they'll get onto those quite quickly so little balls just keep on feeding of course the mallards love it as well because they get a few of them but because we mash them down quite a bit like this they tend to sink almost immediately put them in your zone keep your zone going Alex, bring it out. Let's put a new bait on. So bring it up. Come, 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 come. Quick, 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 quick. So just keeping his bait fresh as well. So I just put some balls in that area. Okay. Put a brand new one on. It's got almond oil on. Nice and tasty like a fish donut. All right. Now just put it in that area. Now this should be able to simulate one of those falling in the water. There you go. There's your rod and tether it up nicely now watch your line no, don't, don't move the bait just tether it and hold and watch your line it's like a snipe shot you don't move your rod and your equipment or gun around when you're taking a snipe shot you got to be very steady it's the same principles here you can tether up to your line slowly just so you have connection with your bait that's it now you tether that's good no you can't move around you got to be very still okay that's it just keep that bait sitting on the bottom looks like you might have your first action there you go, you got some action there, you got some action there, just work, just wait for it. Here you go, here you go, here you go, 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 there you go, there you go, that's the one. Alright, fight it, there you go, fight it baby. Hold your rod up nicely here, there you go, get it up, come to the side a little bit. That's it buddy. Just helping him out a little bit. All right, there you go. As I was saying, putting little balls in the water will make them fall for it every time. Right, keep going. Try not to get in those sticks there. Come on, work it in. Work it. Come on, work it. Work it. That's it, bud. Work it, work it. Now it's got to go the other way, so work it this way now. That's it. Keep working it. Now work it this way again. Bring it in. There you go. Very nice. Good, good boy. All right, bring it. Now you can walk it back onto the beach. Well done, Alex. Alex, well done, five, buddy. Wow, from start to finish. Have you learned something today? Yes. Good times, huh? Tethering the line, learning how to uh, see that line when it goes straight and, and getting in the right place. And then we fed the water nicely with those little balls. Come on down now. Come on down to your. Come on down to your fish. With your rod. Here we go. Come on, you caught it. It's your. You got to work with it now. Right, well done, Alex. And there's his fish, man. Pretty good. Thumbs up, bro. Good job, guys. 
that was a great day out and we got a few good nice uh, brim just using uh, bread so that was very good I'm going to release this one again in the water and here we go again this one's going to go pretty quick I believe there you go and it's released and back into the water for another generation to enjoy good job Alex high five buddy nice one so Alex man is that your first big brim that you caught yes. That was his first big brim he's caught. That was a pretty good one too. Black brim, very nice, Swan River. And uh, did you see how you learnt a little bit today about tethering that line and not using a sinker because the sinkers don't seem to be working. The I think the brim know what they are. But um, you tether the line and then what do you do? You need to you need to make sure you have little bread balls so they fall for the bait. The That's it. Is also the same Little size. bread balls, same size, and then what do you do with the line? How you do, how you how you knowing that line's gonna Cause catch the, a fish? Because the line, you need to make sure that it isn't fully straight, so when the fish grabs it, it gets straight. Right, so it's it's going up and down like, and you can see it just going in. You tether, you just you Sorry. just you just bring that line in just to keep that contact debate. So guys, what a great day out! We got some fish. Uh, three is the show. So Shane. Uh, myself and Alex uh, all got fish today and uh, Alex got uh, two, he bought two in. I got the smallest one, so that's a good thing actually uh, to know that everyone else comes out and fishes and enjoys a beautiful day. We, we did about a three and a half hour session only and uh, yeah, you know, we've got something to show you and those were very good bream. But really, ladies and gentlemen, the basics of it, it cost me about four bucks to get the bread. Uh, hooks were $1.99, so $2.00. Uh, almond oil is about three bucks. Uh, so for under ten bucks, I was able to come out here and uh, introduce Alex to brim fishing with some bread, and, and you guys can do the same thing with your kids. It's dead easy. Uh, dads, you just have to be very patient because it is a lot of work <laughs> with the youngsters. They do make a lot of mistakes, but if you encourage them and you get them that result, then they hook for life. So guys, great day out, and uh, we'll see you soon on the next shows. But from Alex, myself, and Shane. Have a good day, have a good time in the water, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.